I'll be teaching you every single thing you need to know about order blocks. Now, ICT actually uses order blocks in most of its entries. Now, order blocks are very, very, very amazing entry technique as well as higher time frame getting higher time frame understanding of what bias or where price is going or where the next daily candle print can be now in this short 10 minute video i'll be teaching you guys exactly how to use order blocks how to utilize them how to actually become profitable with order blocks giving you guys a sort of a little mini strategy alongside it as well towards the end of the video and do remember guys i know a lot of people can't sit through two three hour long ict videos but if you cannot sit through this 10 minute video where i break everything about order blocks down then there is no hope for you at all go back to a normal job and trading will not be something that you you are built for so without further ado let's jump straight into the video um let's actually break down all the concepts of order blocks and stuff like that so first things first i do want to prove to you guys that i do use order blocks myself here is our telegram now as you can see i had a most recent payout of seven thousand five hundred dollars um had another payout of seven hundred five hundred pound within literally a week apart from each other as you can see here i do use order blocks order blocks are one of my favorite entry techniques very 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 profitable very simple um so jumping into the video now breaking order blocks what is an order block an order block is simply you can use it either as an entry technique or as a higher time frame bias. Now, I like using it as entry techniques, okay, guys? So, I'm going to be showing you guys, right, what sort of <coughs> an order block is. So, say we have a down close candle and then we have a nice parabolic move up. Uh, maybe let's change this to green. The order block will now form at the last down close. So, this is a bullish order, bullish order block, okay, guys? bullish order block the last down close candle before the big impulsive move up is an order block okay so that is what you would mark out as an order block so if i mark this out now let me change this color to gray this is what an order block will be you you literally mark out that last down close candle um, as your order block area and that is what an order block is i'll be showing you guys slightly how you can actually implement this in your trading use it as entry technique but i sort of do want to um, explain what order block is first so now a bearish order block would be if i change this to red um text as bearish order block and then we get the impulsive move down okay i'm going to change this to green so in this example um is literally the uh, flip side of it it would be the last up close candle before the big bearish move down okay that is what you would highlight as your order block okay guys so that is what the simple understanding of order blocks is now how do we actually use this in our entry techniques now one thing i do want to explain to you guys is what makes a probable order block okay so i'm going to have a checklist for you So what makes a probable order block? So a probable order block is this, remember this guy's displacement and in particular a fair value gap created after, created after the actual order block. Okay guys, so what I mean by that is you see this big par parabolic move up within here when there is a fair value gap right a gap in price that is what makes a very probable order block those are the order blocks you want to be using you don't just want to be using simple order blocks so example say this was an order block and we had little little candles um to the upside let me just mark this out for example you don't want this you don't want to be choosing order blocks that are doing this okay yes it is an order block yes price is moving up and higher and higher each and every single second after however you don't want little choppy order blocks like this you want big parabolic candles um, that identify as an order block because those are the ones that are going to be probable the ones that have a fair value gap after the order block okay guys so remember this very very key only be choosing order blocks with fair value gaps created after the order block that's how you're going to actually find very very probable order blocks now how to actually use this in your trading so for example i'm just going to be giving a random example here okay guys so for example 
um, taking into account all of your other entry concepts. Now I do teach a lot of strategies on our YouTube, so do go ahead and um, watch those videos. I will not be sort of breaking them down in this video, purely based on the fact that this is a very short order block video and all, only talking about order blocks, okay guys? So for example, say we had this significant low since New York started, as you can see here, this is New York um, kill zone starting at 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. as you guys know, New York timing. That is the New York open kill zone. Now when New York actually opens, we swept this low. Now when this low gets swept, that is called a liquidity sweep. Now what do we see after? What is created after, okay? So if I take this back, what do we have after this candle being printed? So firstly, we had the market structure shift after the liquidity sweep. So that's another confluence of price actually turning around. Now, what is this being created? A order block. Why is this an order block? Because we have a fair value gap being created. There's a gap in price. As you can see here, there's a gap in price. Only buying has been offered within this candle. So that makes it a probable order block. So what we're gonna do is mark out this order block uh, I'm going to change that to grey. So now simply what you would just do is simply wait for a retracement back in and then look for a nice entry. Have your stops just below the order block. A few pips under, targeting potentially opposing liquidity. And that is how simple the actual order block concept is. As you can see, it works very well. Obviously, you have to have your other concepts. Now, that was very simple sort of a give you a little hidden strategy that I love using, liquidity suite, market structure shift, and then order block. Um, but I do teach everything else in depth in our free Telegram. Remember, I share my payouts in here, a lot of a lot of free value, why we're taking trades, what trades we're took, taking, what our targets are. We're also giving free HFT passing to anyone who joins our mentorship. Now, our mentorship is only 49.99. This is literally the cost of you guys going out on the weekend partying. If you want to change your life around, invest, because we will pass your... 100k 200k profit for completely free in celebration of my payouts and how rapid this uh, youtube is actually growing so do join our telegram in the link below hope this video helped and sort of cleared your ideas about order blocks and if you guys do need further help you can message me on telegram and i'm open to answer all questions for you